Hi, in this video, I am going to talk about machine creation service that is a MCS. Uh, this is a single image management solution that is a built in in the Zenap and Zen desktop. Uh, then create virtual machines that are linked to a base and a prepared master image. So also the MCS base machine will have two disks. One is identity disk that's having 16 MB persistent disk. So that contains host name and the active directory machine account. The second one is a differencing disk. A disk that holds the rights for each virtual machine. So that is a temporary data will store once the machine rebooted it will be cleared. So the full clone copy the entire image to the each VM and does not use a differencing disk. So this is uh, for the dedicated VM. So it will not have any temporary data because dedicated VM means the all, all the uh, changes which is made by the user it will be stored on the uh, VM itself. So no need to use any additional temporary disk to clear the uh, right catch right so that is a dedicated VM right so everything will be stored on the VM itself so there is no use of differentiating disk so in next slide so this is the uh, steps uh, to prepare the MCS based uh, machine catalog so 14 steps are involved in this process so first uh, we need to create the master image Okay, uh, in master image, we need to install the VDA and the required application. Uh, so once the installation has been completed, like uh, VM build, so once it's completed, uh, then uh, we need to create the snapshot. So in, to create the snapshot from the master image, we can use two method. One is manual or else we can leave it while creating the machine catalog. MCS itself will take the snapshot. So that is the automatic. So if you go for the automatic, the naming convention will be different. So it will make some confusion in future. So better we can take the snapshot in the master image manually. That will be good because we can uh, give the uh, name as per our requirement for the future purpose. So once it's done, so while creating the machine catalog in the studio, which is MCS based, automatically what MCS will do uh, while creating the machine catalog, we need to select the snapshot. So once you select, MCS will create another full copy of the snapshot. Okay. So fourth step, it will create a preparation VM. Okay. The preparation VM only will create, suppose if you are giving like a three VM, so preparation VM only will create three VM. So once the preparation VM created, the instruction disk will be attached to the preparation VM. In that instruction disk, what are the information will be stored like uh, the IP configuration, the DHCP details and the account details, those kind of things. So how to build the VM, those kind of information will be instructed in the instruction disk. Uh, then, it, then it will power on the preparation VM. Okay. So once it's powered on, the preparation VM will start the process to prepare the VMs. Okay, then again preparation VM will get the uh, complete VM updates from the snapshot which is taken in the third step. Okay, so once it's done, the preparation VM will be shut down. So once it's shut down, the instruction disk uh, where in the steps, in uh, fifth steps, the instruction disk attached, right? So that disk will be deleted in the tenth step. So after that, once the instruction disk has been deleted, then the then it will detach the OS disk and uh, delete the preparation VM. Once the OS is detached from the preparation VM, then the preparation VM will be deleted. So and then suppose in your hypervisor, if you have multiple uh, storage repository to keep the VMs, so the full copy will replicate to the another SR as well. And then it will create instruction disk in memory. Okay, once it's created, then the fourth step, the complete VM will be created based on the uh, our requirement like uh, RAM and uh, how many VMs, naming convention, everything will be created. So also it will attach the instruction disk and the differential disk into the VMs. So after uh, completing 14 steps, the MCS machine catalog creation will be completed. 
so now in next slide we'll see one by one the workflow how it will uh, how we, how it's creating the mcs based machine catalog from the studio console so first step uh, we need to create the vm and any hypervisor so once you created so we need to configure uh, the vda installation and application installation and everything so we need to make a complete vm so then we need to create the snapshot so the snapshot details will be stored on the storage repository so then uh, mcs will take a copy and it will keep it in the storage repository so and then uh, the preparation vm will be created then instruction disk will be attached to the preparation vm to create the vms as per our requirement then uh, preparation vm will be powered on then then it will copy the snapshot from the storage repository to begin the image preparation so once the image preparation done it will shut on the preparation vm then instruction disk will be deleted once the preparation completed the instruction disk will be deleted then uh, from the preparation vm the os disk will be detached and deleted so once the os and the os detached from the preparation vm the preparation vm will be deleted so and then uh, and then uh, the snapshot will be replicated to another uh, storage repository so this is the final step so once the uh, snapshot uh, replicated to another store repository the vm also will be created so as per our requirement so this is the one more picture so you can get some idea